Today's video, we're gonna focus on cleaning and protecting this white Jeep using a bunch of products in the December glove box and some other goodies from Car Supplies Warehouse that I picked up recently. So we have a great multi-purpose cleaner from Koch Chemi that we're gonna use for our APC rinse or our pre-wash that's gonna melt away the bugs and grime. We also have a glass coating to apply and don't tell the customer, but they're getting this coating for free today. And there's a new tire and wheel cleaner from Glovebox RX that we're going to use also. Now what about plastic and rubber mats? Well don't worry, we have a perfect solution to restore and protect those areas also. Finally, for paint, we're going to use a super slick and easy to apply polymer sealant from Wizards. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like and share button if you're enjoying these videos. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the process. So for the pre-wash, we are going to be using something new that we haven't used before. We picked up some Koch Chemi MSN. This is a high alkaline pre-washing solution. It's mainly used for exterior, but it's multi-purpose, so it could be used in the interior. It's super, super concentrated. I'm going to put this in the spray bottle here instead of my IK foamer, because I, I still have cleaner in my IK foamer that I'm gonna use up. So I'm gonna use this on this white Jeep today, even though this is not the foamer model, it's just the spray model, it's totally fine. But I'm going to mix it up here, and I am gonna mix it up pretty exacting this time, because it's a new product and I wanna see what it does. So I'm gonna mix up 2,000 milliliters, which is about two liters in here. And I'm using the DRC dilution calculator. This thing is really handy. You can do milliliters and ounces. So a 10 to one ratio, 181 of product. I'm gonna do, you know, just under 200 or so because it's hard to really be exact with little tiny hash marks on here. And this might be high foaming. This is why I'm mixing it up this way. Once I get comfortable with it, then I'll understand what dilutions I need. And I'm doing it this way again so it just doesn't foam up like crazy. Pour it out like a beer so you don't get a frothy head. Just a little bit of foam, not too bad. Now, if you're wondering about this little valve here, this Schrader valve, check out the video that I'll put either in the card or down below, or if I didn't link it for some reason, ask me about this Schrader valve. I installed this myself so that you can pump this up without having to manually pump it up, pump it up with an air compressor. Now, we also have some of the glove box products that we're going to use today. We're gonna to use their Mystic Nano Wax, their Slick Wax. We're going to use a new product from Glovebox RX. This is their wheel and tire cleaner concentrate. This is such a cool solution. This is not necessarily for professionals, but I don't care. I use all sorts of stuff. I mean more like in a shop-based high volume type of thing. We're not high volume here, so I can use whatever I want. This is more for the DIY enthusiast or at home person washing their car. So you fill the bottle up with water here to about that line there. You slip in the cartridge like that, and then you put the straw right through it, and when you clamp it down, it releases the concentrated chemical into the water. There we go. That's cool. Yeah, very, very cool. Mix it up, everything is all pre-diluted, ready to go, wheel and tire cleaner. Glovebox RX has a couple of these cleaners. They have a spray wax, a glass cleaner, an interior cleaner, and a waterless wash solution. This is their newest addition. Now we also have a glass coating. This customer is gonna get a deal because I'm not charging for this on their Jeep. Their Jeep is in for our diamond service, which is just our full interior and exterior detail, but they're getting a little extra. And the glove box also came with a nice towel, little foam applicator for the wax. I may or may not use this. I'll probably use this just for small portions on the Jeep because the Jeeps are annoying to wax, as you may know. I'm gonna use a machine polisher to machine apply the wax and then use this towel to wipe it off. For the shampoo, we're using Phoenix EOD's Apex Auto Wash. Now, because I have not used this product before, I'm going to be safe here. I'm going to spray the vehicle down first. Even though it says it's safe for plastics, it's safe for paint and all of that, again, it's a new product to me, so I wanna see how it performs first, and I'm gonna be safe because sometimes strong alkaline cleaners can stain plastics. Interesting thing is I use Super Clean all the time and I don't run into problems. But once again, if you're using a new product to you, take precaution.
You can see the line. That did a great job. Whatever that junk was, I don't know if it was mud down there or what. Still a little bit left, but that'll come off with the agitation. We can rinse it a little bit more or put a little bit more cleaner on it. But that stuff is doing a great job. These Jeeps have a lot of areas that are just hard to get to. Kind of annoying. All these hinges and like cracks and crevices that are just very, very difficult to get to. So I'm gonna take my brush and go into all of these areas to get them cleaned thoroughly. Down here especially, this is, this is annoying. And again, it's a Jeep. People like to uh, get these things dirty and have fun in them. Now for the mats, I'm gonna use the same multi-cleaner. And uh, I have not filled up this pump bottle yet from the first time I used it, obviously. Still has plenty of air in here. That's pretty awesome. The Jeep is squeaky clean. The cleaning power of the multi-purpose cleaner is awesome. The Apex Auto Wash is also a pretty strong cleaner. The bugs are all gone. Looks incredible. Other than a few chips, the paint is in really, really good shape. Mats are looking nice and clean. We're gonna let them dry here in the sun. And you could, uh, we could put them on the little clips here. It's actually probably a good idea. I think I'll do that. That way it drips dry. There, that's better. They'll drip dry and be good to go, and then we'll dress them. We're gonna show you a new product to us. I want to get my hands on for a while, because I've seen other detailers using it, and I want to try it for myself. So we have two products that we're going to use today for plastic and rubber, two very specific products. This one is for the mats. So this will not leave any type of greasy slipperiness on the rubber mats. I've been looking forward to using this product because I've seen a couple of other detailers use it. it. Looks pretty good, very promising. So we'll try that out today. And we're gonna use this on all the exterior plastic. It's a silicone free dressing for all exterior plastics, which this Jeep 
Ugh, just has way too much plastic. But it's in good shape. We're not dealing with horrible faded trim. We just wanna protect this. So with trim done, we're going to apply the Mystic Nano Wax. So this is a polymer sealant, basically. It can be applied by hand, or my favorite method, a little dual action polisher like this. Interesting application also, it says you can actually use a dampened foam or applicator or a dry applicator. So that means it can work well with water, which is good. So if you get any little drips here, I'm not worried about it. It's very, very thin, very liquidy. Spreads very, very nice and thin. And to get into these harder to reach areas, of course, I'm gonna to have to use the little applicator. Wow. You like the, that so? Yeah, the application of it is very, very smooth. Removal. Holy moly, feel that. Oh. <laughs> That's impressive. Very, very nice. Who knows what the durability is on this? I, I don't know. The application of it is just insane. The slickness is insane. It actually feels like a ceramic coating. Impressive. Very nice. And actually I switched to the little applicator and found it just as fast because the, this, this wax is so liquidy, it's so thin and it spreads incredibly fast. And if it does mix with a little bit of water, it's okay. It still adds to the spreadability of it. It's just very, very nice. I'm very impressed with it so far. I don't think that's a word. Spreadability? Of course it is. Because I said so. It's a word. It's a word. It's a detailing word. It should be in the detailer's Bible, which is actually a thing. Who wrote this? Um, 66 different detailers. The gloss on the Jeep is incredible. It's really hard to tell in here because it's white paint, hard to focus on, but you can see it's very, very glossy. No real defects in here either, which is great. And the Plastar trim dressing is incredible. Wifey loves it. Leaves a really, really nice finish. It's dry to the touch, no greasiness. Awesome stuff. All right, well, I'm happy with those products so far.
let's move on to these mats. These two front mats are very, very dry. They're clean, but rubber mats like this get worn down. So they need to be replenished with something like this. Might be better to put a spray tip on this instead of this type of an application, but maybe I'll try that later. So that's the difference. It certainly made it darker as it dries. I'll wipe it down, but I don't believe we're gonna deal with any type of slipperiness. It doesn't feel like that type of a product. It's more of just a rubber restoration product. Can it be used on the exterior? I don't know, maybe, but it's designed for mats like this. So your weather techs and factory mats like this from Jeep or any other vehicle, clean them, dry them, and then apply this stuff. So we use some great products today. The Koch Chemi Plastar and the Gummy Fix, this stuff is awesome. Great alternative to using the Stoner's Trim Shine. The Stoner's Trim Shine still works. It's actually a faster application because you just spray it on. I think I'll pop off that top and put a spray on here and use that to actually apply. I think it'll be quicker and more even, but I think it works really well. It doesn't leave anything greasy. It dries to a satin finish, but the rubber looks brand new. Very impressed with that stuff, love it. The Wizards Mystic Nano Wax is very impressive also. Machine or hand apply, super slick, easy application. Wipe off is a breeze. Absolutely no smearing with this product at all. The gloss and slickness, I would say, even on a white vehicle, impressive. Now you also saw us use the NSPGL. This is the Dr. Beasley's glass polish. This is a new product from them. And we're using this now before every coating application on glass. Acts the same way as you see us use the NSP45 for paint before a coating, no panel wipe necessary, cleans and preps the glass, wipe it off, apply your coating, you're good to go. It cleans and primes the glass. This can be used as a heavy cutter also. Mike Phillips, who's now together with Dr. Beasley's, demonstrates how to use this to cut glass. It's incredible. So head over to Dr. Beasley's on their YouTube channel or search Mike Phillips, Dr. Beasley's glass polishing, and you will find a ton of information in how he uses this stuff. It is incredible. Oh, if you're curious, we used Suds Lab tire and trim dressing. Almost out of this stuff. Wheels and tires are looking awesome. The cleaner, I would say, is well balanced. It's not overly strong. It's not too weak. It's right in the middle, which is right where a consumer type of product should be. It's Goldilocks, then. It is Goldilocks. But it cleaned the tires and wheels well. Yeah, they're looking great. Now, the only thing that I'm going to say um, is maybe a con. It's not necessarily a bad thing about this. Again, this is not made for the professional in mind, so keep that in mind. But look how much I used. Um, it can get another vehicle, so maybe two to three vehicles out of this. Now, I may have just over applied it, or I'm also just not a fan of the foaming tip trigger. I thought I would be, but I'm actually not. I like either a foamer, a dedicated foamer bottle that distributes the foam in one even pass. This I found to get even application, I have to spray and spray and spray and spray and spray and I'm overusing the product. That's, it just tends to happen that way. So it's not a knock on the product or anything like that. It's just something that I have observed. I think what I would rather have is a dedicated spray bottle, something like this, like an electric sprayer that distributes it evenly. This is not a foamer, it's just a regular sprayer. And even though the foam is nice, 
Foam, I think, does help it dwell longer. However, in a trigger style, you tend to overuse it. So I would rather put it in something like either that sprayer there, or if you want the foam, put it in an IK foamer like this. That's just my idea. That's just my thing that I think would lend to better application and using less product is to, to put it in something like that. But what you could do is just dilute it in this and then just pour it in that, you know, that would work too. But overall, the product is great. The idea behind this is amazing. So for people who, you know, they have one vehicle that they're washing and they want a good tire and wheel cleaner, this is a good option.